Michael Showers, um, very uh, well known name. Um, your brother Delroy, his um, he's kind of more closely known to the Paul Sykes story. Uh, but you actually knew Paul Sykes before Delroy. You met him in Hull Prison. I did. Yes. Um, how how was Paul Sykes? How did you find him? I found him to be a very amusing, strong, and happy person. Mm. Yeah. Um, so you spent a bit of time behind the door with him. Yeah. Hull Prison with the Cray Gang. Yeah. Uh, Roy Shaw, Char uh, Ronnie Bender. Um. Lambriano. The Lambrianos. Um, what what was he? Um, was he as crazy as what the think, or was he? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It, it, it was nice crazy. Yeah. Not bad crazy. Did you nice get on with him? Oh, very well. Got on very well. I used to play chess with him. Mm. Yeah. He used to hate losing. Right. What was it? What was he like? Um, intelligence wise. He was quite intelligent, Paul. Where did that come from? Self read. Self-made, yeah. Like your brother? Yeah. Um, when, you're, when you're in prison, the only thing you have is time. Yeah. And if you use that time, you read. Yeah. Um, did you see Sykes involved in many much fights? or? I've seen him a couple of times when he, he, he took off. Like one time, uh, the screws were giving out the food and he asked for a bit more cabbage. And the screw said, no, you're no different to anyone else, Sykes, on your way. So he turned around, walked away, then he come back and he said, I'm not having that. Mm. All the food off the hot plate all over the place. Did he? <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, did it sadden you, the end of his life? Very much so, because... Did you see that coming? Could you visualise that coming? I could, the amount he was drinking. Right. I mean, when was the actual last time you ever saw Paul? Last time I saw Paul was... In he the died in 2007. The 70s, last time I saw him. Was it really? Yeah. So you never saw him in the 80s? No. Oh, yes, sorry, I did in the 80s. It came up once. Yeah. It came up once in Liverpool, the 80s. Yeah. I mean, your brother Delroy was particularly close. Um, a lot of people will have seen that wedding he officiated. Yes. And uh, you told Delroy not to get involved because don't do anything to make us look foolish. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, it was just me, you know. But Paul speaks really highly of you in his books, Sweet Agony. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you all the books next week. Um, but he was an unbelievable character, wasn't he? Can you he understand was. why there's a film and a documentary coming? Very much so. Very much so. Total one-off. Yeah. You know, I receive a lot of stick because um, <clears throat> a lot. I think the city of Wakefield kind of blame me for kind of reinventing the ghost of Paul Sykes. Uh, even though I wasn't even born when Sykes done a lot of the bad things. But, you know, I think his film merits. I think his life certainly merits a film, documentary. Um, obviously, I've asked you if you're going to be part of the documentary. I'm hoping your brother Delroy will agree. Um, you know, I th you went to his boxing fights. Yeah. And... For a short time, he put Wayfield on the map, didn't he? He did indeed. Mm. Especially when he knocked out the American. Dave Wilson. Yeah, yeah that was 1979. Yeah. So were you there then? Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, and, and as someone who done time with Sykes, um, you know, you must have heard all the rumours, the gay, the all this. The, it's, uh, what, what's your opinion on it? Complete and utter rubbish. Yeah. Complete and utter rubbish. Yeah, I've sp I've spent a lot of research. When people don't like you. There's only two things they say about you. You're either a grass yeah. or a nonce, a yeah. sex offender. That's yeah. all they ever say. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you know, listen, there's no, there's no secret that Sykes indulged in sexual activity with men. Um, I, I went to prison with, um, I interviewed his son, and he said, if my dad was here now, he'd openly admit. I spoke to John Spensley. <laughs> And uh, he would openly admit it. It was only something he'd done in prison, um, which is quite remarkable, really, because the biggest sentence Paul ever got was seven years. So it wasn't like he was getting, you know, a massive, well, certainly the sentences you've had. But, um, you know, to be, uh, you know, embracing sexual, uh, homosexual acts 
is is so different to being a rapist who yeah. rapes young boys and all that. Nasty and nasty rumors. Yeah, people, you know. People who don't have the guts to face it. Yeah. I mean, I, I interviewed um, the top chief of Wakefield Police and he said, listen, I, I we arrested Sykes in the early 90s when he was a nightmare. We used to... We used to take the full shift to arrest him. And I interviewed him when he was an old man and all he could do was spit at us. And he said, I didn't like him, but the facts of the matter are, there was no, he was never convicted of anything like that. No. Um, you know, I've spoke to people um, and there was a certain guy the other week having a go at me on YouTube saying I'm full of shit. Um, but I wasn't in prison with him. All I can talk about is facts, and the facts of the matter are, you know, and, and that's that. But Paul Sykes, absolute one-off, um, had funny ways about him. Indeed. Very idiosyncratic. Did you get him? Did you totally get him? Because Delroy got him. Delroy was really close to him. There was no problem with Paul. Mm. No problems with him whatsoever. I liked him. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, I'll tell you off camera, there's a guy who's going to play him, who's uh, very well known, bit of a half rob. Um, the film is going to start from 1989 when Paul Sykes was 43. The actor who's going to play Paul's about 41, 42 now, it's going to start next year. So he's perfect. And if you put a moustache on him, you think it was Paul. Um, so thanks for your time, Michael. People can look out for your book, Michael Showers, Members Only. Uh, and there's going to be a full chapter in the book on Paul Sykes mm -hmm. uh, and all the colourful characters you've met behind full Sutton, uh, Strange Ways, oh, God, Reggie Cray. Yeah. Um, so lots of, um, you know, a lot, of, a lot of people are fascinated with true crime and um, you won't be glorifying it, will you? Well, there's nothing to glorify. There's nothing, there's nothing funny about spending the years in no, prison. Not one bit. Yeah. I mean, overall, though, and I think it's something to be proud of, you have 11 children and not one of them have been inside a court. No. So you did all the prison for them, really. Yeah. That's what I say. I'm happy to have done all that further, but at least none of my children would have to do it again. Yeah. So thanks for your time, Michael. Michael Showers, Members Only, is going to be written by Jamie Boyle. Published by Warcry Publishing and it's going to be released in the spring of 2022.